Number 7. The Roswell Files The Roswell Files are a collection of declassified government documents that speak on the alleged recovery of a UFO near Roswell, New Mexico in July 1947. It also apparently mentions the UFO's supposed extraterrestrial drivers. The incident sparked a controversy that has lasted for decades. It inspired many conspiracy theories about aliens and cover-ups that continue to this day. The official story, according to the FBI and the Air Force, is that the debris discovered by a rancher was from a high-altitude weather balloon, part of a secret project called Mogul, conducted to monitor Soviet nuclear testing. The FBI's vault, an online reading room that holds over 2,000 government files, includes a teletype from the FBI Dallas field office dated back to July 8, 1947, that confirms this explanation. But some ufologists and witnesses claim that the debris actually originated from a crashed flying saucer and that the military recovered three or four alien bodies. They cite a press release issued by the Roswell Army Airfield on July 8, 1947, stating they captured a flying disc, which was later retracted by a higher authority. They also point to several testimonies from former military personnel and civilians who said they saw strange materials in corpses that did not match up with any known human or animal anatomy. The Roswell Files have been the subject of countless books, documentaries, movies, and TV shows, as well as investigations by researchers and organizations. Some of them have even requested that the government release more information about the incident, while others have accused the government of trying to hide the truth and engaging in a cover-up. The Roswell Files remain open in the eyes of many who seek answers to one of the most fascinating mysteries of the 20th century. Number 6. WikiLeaks – The Ultimate Whistleblower Have you ever wondered what your government is up to behind closed doors? Well, you're not alone. There's a whole website that's made its mission to expose the hidden truths of the world powers. It's called WikiLeaks, and it has began leaking classified documents from governments since 2006. WikiLeaks was initially founded by Julian Assange, a former hacker and activist who believes in the power of transparency. He and his team of volunteers have gotten their hands on thousands of secret documents from anonymous sources and publish them online for the public to see. Some of the most famous leaks include diplomatic cables which revealed the honest and sometimes embarrassing views U.S. diplomats had on foreign leaders, allies, and enemies, war logs which showed the grim realities of the conflict in Afghanistan and Iraq, including civilian casualties, torture, and corruption, the Guantanamo files, which expose the harsh conditions detainees faced at the U.S. military prison in Cuba, and CIA hacking tools that exposed how the spy agency can hack into smartphones, computers, TVs, and even smart cars. Of course, not everyone is happy with WikiLeaks. Many governments have hailed the website as a threat to national security and international relationships. Assange himself has faced legal troubles including an extradition request from the U.S., where he's wanted for espionage charges. He had been living in asylum at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London for over a decade. But despite the controversies, WikiLeaks continues to operate and release new documents. Whether you see the site as a hero or a villain, there's no denying that WikiLeaks has changed the way we see our world. Number 5. Purgosian's Double Game Yevgeny Prigozhin is a Russian businessman and close associate of President Vladimir Putin. He's also the owner of the Wagner Group, a private military company that works in several conflict zones around the world, often in support of Russian international interests. But according to leaked U.S. intelligence documents, Prigozhin was not always loyal to his homeland. In fact, he recently tried to offer Russian troop locations to Ukraine in exchange for a ceasefire in Bakhmut where Wagner Group forces were suffering from heavy casualties. The documents, which were published by the New York Times in April 2023, reveal that Prigozhin reached out to Ukrainian military intelligence multiple times in late January 2023, 
and offered them a deal. If Ukraine withdrew its forces from Bakhmut, he would give them information on Russian troop movements. The evidence also suggests that Prigozhin had a secret relationship with Ukrainian intelligence that included phone calls and meetings in an unspecified African country. So why did Prigozhin do this? According to the documents, he was upset with the Russian military's lack of support for his fighters, and he wanted to save his men from further losses. He also hoped to gain leverage over Putin and the Kremlin, whom he felt were not rewarding him enough for his services and loyalty. But his plan backfired big time. Ukraine didn't trust Prigozhin at all and rejected his offer, suspecting that it was either a trap or a cheap trick. The U.S. also doubted Prigozhin's intentions and warned Ukraine not to make deals with him. Prigozhin's treason was exposed when the U.S. intelligence documents were leaked by Jack Texiera, a National Guard airman who was arrested by the FBI shortly after. The leak caused a major scandal for both Russia and Prigozhin, who denied any involvement. Prigozhin's offer to the Ukraine shows that he is not only a ruthless mercenary, but also a cunning man who's willing to betray his own country for his benefit. But his gamble didn't pay off, and he may have lost more than he gained. What do you think about the current situation in Ukraine? Share your thoughts with us in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. Number 4. The U.S. Government's Secret Body Snatching During the 1950s, the U.S. government was conducting nuclear weapons tests around the world and wanted to study how radiation affects human health. But they faced a major problem. How would they obtain human tissue samples without raising ethical concerns or legal issues? Their solution? was to secretly collect samples from over 900 human cadavers without asking for permission from the deceased necks of kin. The program, Project Sunshine, was established by the Atomic Energy Commission, or AEC, and involved a worldwide network consisting of hospitals, morgues, and medical schools. The AEC recruited both doctors and scientists to participate and offered them incentives like funding, equipment, and access to classified data. The participants were told to collect samples of bones, organs, and other tissues from deceased patients or donors and send them to AEC laboratories. The program was kept secret from the public and family members who were never informed of what happened to their loved one's remains. The AEC also used code names and serial numbers to conceal the identities of the donors and where the samples came from. The program was finally exposed in 1994 when a British journalist named Rob Edwards got a hold of a copy of a secret AEC report that detailed the collection activities. The document revealed that the program collected samples from people of all ages and backgrounds including infants, children, pregnant women, and even Hiroshima and Nagasaki survivors. The revelation sparked outrage. As a result, several investigations and lawsuits were launched. The U.S. government apologized for the program and agreed to compensate families of the tissue donors. Still though, many questions remain unanswered. How many people were affected by the program? What were the results of the radiation studies? And where are the samples today? The U.S. government's secret body snatching shows that they were more than willing to violate human rights in the name of national security and scientific progress. Their actions also had unintended consequences, such as damaging public trust and creating ethical dilemmas. Number 3. The Snowden Files – How One Man Exposed the Secrets of the NSA Have you ever wondered what the government knows about you? Well, thanks to Edward Snowden, a former contractor for the National Security Agency, or NSA, we have a decent idea. In 2013, Snowden leaked thousands of classified documents that showed the extent of U.S. electronic surveillance on both domestic and foreign targets. The documents exposed some of the most secretive and controversial programs the NSA ran, some of which include PRISM. The program allowed the NSA to collect data from popular internet companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and Apple. The data included emails, chats, photos, videos, and more. 
The agency claimed that it only targeted foreigners, but the documents showed that it also collected data from American citizens without warrants. X Keyscore. This program enabled analysts to search through databases of emails, online chats, and browsing histories. The analysts could also enter any keyword or phrase and get results from all over the world. The program, which was so powerful that one NSA document wrote, you could literally watch every keystroke as it is typed. Boundless Informant. This program was a tool that analyzed data collected by the NSA. It showed how much information was collected from each country and region. The documents revealed that the NSA collected billions of records from foreign countries like Iran, Pakistan, Germany, and even inside the US. Snowden's leaks sparked a widespread debate about privacy, security, and civil liberties. Some people called him a hero and a whistleblower, while others believed he was a traitor and a criminal. Snowden left the US and sought asylum in Russia, where he lives to this day. He faces charges of espionage and theft of government property in the US, which could land him in prison for decades if he ever returns. Whether you agree with what Snowden did or not, his leaks have changed the way we think about our online behavior and our relationship with the government. They have also inspired other whistleblowers and activists to expose government secrets and abuse. As Snowden said himself, the public needs to know the kinds of things a government does in its name or the consent of the governed is meaningless. Number 2. The FBI's Bigfoot File the Sasquatch, which is commonly referred to as Bigfoot, is a legendary creature that supposedly lives in North America's woodlands. Many people claim to have seen or heard the beast, but no conclusive evidence has ever been brought forward. But did you know that the FBI actually had a file on Bigfoot? According to the FBI's Freedom of Information Library, the agency opened up a file on the creature back in 1976 after getting a request from Peter Byrne the director of the Bigfoot Information Center and Exhibition in Oregon. Byrne sent the FBI some hair and tissue samples that he truly believed belonged to Bigfoot and asked the agency to analyze them. The FBI agreed to do so and assigned the case to Jay Cochran Jr., the assistant director of the Scientific and Technical Services Division. Cochran examined the samples under a microscope and compared them with samples taken from known animals. He concluded that the samples were of deer family origin. Cochran later wrote back to Byrne, telling him the results and closing the case for good. He also added that the FBI has not been involved nor will it be in the future unless there is some reason to believe that there has been a violation of federal law involved in any study pertaining to creatures such as Bigfoot. The FBI's files on Bigfoot was declassified and publicly released in 2019 as a part of the agency's policy to disclose files on subjects that are deceased. This implies that the FBI once considered Bigfoot to be a real entity and that it was no longer alive. Still, this doesn't mean the mystery of the creature is solved. Many Bigfoot enthusiasts still believe he exists and that the FBI's analysis was incomplete. They point to other evidence, like footprints, photographs, and eyewitness accounts that suggest Bigfoot is more than a simple myth. Whether you believe in Bigfoot or not, you have to admit that the FBI's file on the subject is a fascinating piece of history. It shows that even the most powerful government agency can be curious about the unknown. And at number one, the lost bomb. Imagine losing your car keys or your wallet. Pretty common, right? Now imagine losing a hydrogen bomb. Well, that's exactly what happened to the US Air Force in 1958, when a B-47 bomber accidentally dropped a nuclear weapon near Savannah, Georgia. The bomb, nicknamed the Tybee Bomb, after a nearby island, has never been discovered and its location remains a mystery to this day. The incident happened on February 5, 1958 during a training exercise called Operation Snow Flurry. The B-47 was carrying a Mark 15 hydrogen bomb, which was equivalent to 260 times the power of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. The bomb was not actually armed with a nuclear core, 
but it did hold conventional explosives and radioactive material. As the B-47 was flying over the Atlantic Ocean, it was intercepted by an F-86 fighter jet. The two planes collided mid-air, causing severe damage on both ends. The B-47 managed to stay in the air, but the pilot had to jettison the bomb to reduce weight and prevent a possible detonation. He dropped the explosive into the shallow waters near Tybee Island, hoping it would be easy to recover later. But the search for the bomb was futile. Despite using sonar, metal detectors, and divers, the Air Force could not find the device in the murky water in shifting sands. The search was eventually called off entirely, and the bomb was classified as irretrievably lost. The Tybee bomb is one of several nuclear weapons that have gone missing or been abandoned by the U.S. military. The Pentagon claims that there is no risk of a nuclear explosion or radiation leakage from these weapons, but some experts and activists disagree. They argue that the bombs could pose a threat to the environment and public safety, especially if they fall into the wrong hands. The Tybee bomb remains one of the most baffling mysteries of the Cold War era. Who knows where it is beneath the waves? Maybe one day someone will find it and solve the mystery once and for all, or maybe it will stay lost forever, a silent reminder of the dangers of nuclear weapons. That's everything for today, folks. We hope you liked this video, and let us know which government secret you found the most interesting. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell, and let us know in the comments what other secrets you want to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.